we're going to a park that's not super close to our house but it's also not super far so we only get to go there on special occasions today we only have the smaller three so we are going to go to the park and then we're gonna have McDonald's for lunch well they are and then we're gonna if everyone's good then we're gonna go to Walmart and I brought my seven dollars yes and, and Chris, has, some fish. Chris has some birthday money and he wants to get a pet goldfish or something. So we're going to see how this adventure goes. Ashley's back there too. I'm so excited because we haven't been to the Ninja Warrior Park since July uh, 23rd. <laughs> because it's when my birthday is. Yes, of last year. So yeah. it's it's been a while, right? Yeah, and I got this little fish. So it's been like almost a whole year, but we're going today so it's not going to be a whole year. Yes, are you excited? Yes, yeah. I'm very excited. All right. Now, there's so much monkey bars. And the monkey bars, you, there's little ones that you can practice on, and then you move on to the big bars, and they're so easy. Should we show them the monkey bars when we get there? Yes. yes. Okay. But it's like five or six or like 30 minutes away, so. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes away. Yeah. So we'll update you when we're there. So we'll see you when we get there. Bye. Yep. Bye. Can you climb up there, Ash? So we went to the park and then we went to Meyer and got fish and I'll put some pictures of stuff in here. I'm still not quite comfortable like recording out in public, but I'll take pictures and I can put that in here. No problems. Um, Chris had some money. His birthday was, um, his birthday was at the end of March and we had, uh, his birthday party a couple weeks ago and he had some birthday money to spend. So he decided that he wanted to spend it on fish in a fish tank and then he got a gift card for McDonald's so I didn't even know that was a thing but he was super excited to get that and so we got McDonald's on our way home for the park but I did good I only had I had, I had a handful of french fries like not even thinking and then I was like oh why did you eat those but I had I had took a picture of it I'll put that in here but I had pepperonis some cut up white cheddar cheese if you haven't tried that we got this block from Aldi um I found out about it on Farmhouse on Boone. It is amazing. So I had a cup, some of that. I have to go poopy. You have to go poopy. No, I. So this is our fish tank, our new fish tank. It's right above our TV. I'll back up to give you the full look. Yep, there's Mary. And then, so if you can't see very well. We have one of those black fish that, we have two of those black fish. Um, it might look like we have three, but we have one big one and one small-ish one. We have this, and this, it's moving around like a lot. Then we have this, then we have this fish right there, and then we have that pink fish. And then we also have this fish back there and so we have a lot of fish and we have a bubbler it has light right there it's a bubbler and so they're swimming around one is just sucking right there and then here's a rock really beautiful rock and i like that and then i like this this is from spongebob squarepants if you don't watch that Go ahead and watch that. Okay. And then we have this SpongeBob house. Squidward's house. So. So this morning was super productive. I got a whole week's worth of, well, pretty much I didn't fold any laundry all week for all seven of us. But we do kind of pick out of the pile if we need something like my kids wear uniforms to school so they have each one has well Allie of course has more because she's been in the same size for two years so she has quite a few clothes um but the boys have three pairs of pants and three shirts that way a couple years ago I went through and tried to kind of we were doing the minimal mom thing and then life happened I had Ashley and we kind of totally fell off the wagon but 
I have tried very hard to keep at least the boys' clothes minimal because they're in charge of putting all of their clothes away. They're in charge of keeping their closet organized and things like that. So their clothes are minimal. They have three shirts, three school shirts, three pairs of school pants. And so that we pick stuff out of there. But other than that, I mean, our whole, I should have taken a picture, but it was kind of embarrassing. But it was a whole week's worth of laundry. It took me a whole movie. We watched Date Night. It's on, what do we watch that on? Hulu. It's got Steve Carell and Tina Fey in it. It's adorable. It does have, it's hilarious. It has some bad words. So depending on how you feel about your kiddos watching them, I know Pete and repeat were saying things. So I regretted a few decisions, but it's only rated like PG-13. But anyways, it was hilarious. Highly recommend you definitely watching it. it. Makes you really think. Make your kids watch it. No, kids don't need to watch it, but parents can watch it. It's cute. Anyways, so I think, I feel like we had a really good day today. Did you have a good day, Al? Yes, I had an amazing day. We had a good day. Yes, now we're going to do Allie's fake fingernails because she is all about fake fingernails. She's a poker eye out. You guys are gonna watch me. We might fast forward this like a little bit, but I don't know. We might not. All right, don't no. you're not don't use the glue. You just get it all hooked up with the sizes that you need, okay? Okay. She's finishing poop. Let's see if we can get the last three on. Where is it? I'm gonna try this one because this one isn't is it very, very. Come on. Don't just stay right here for a second. Come on out. We gotta get these last few nails done. No, don't let her free. Because we got all the nails out on the table. Just hold on a minute. It says he's got two more. Okay. That was good. Move on to the last two. Let's move it, move it. This might be... Good save. Can't pick it up, Mommy. Never mind. Alright, for this one, I'm gonna have to change your sister's diaper. I'm gonna pull it away. Okay, I'm gonna change your Ashley's diaper. While well, you're doing that, I'm gonna take the glue with me, though, so I'm gonna just take away the temptation. Come on. Sorry, you have to wait so long. I am so, 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 so sorry you have to wait so, 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 so long. 
My mom is just changing her self. Hey, fun. You know who that is in our family? Girl. Ding, ding, dash. Who blue day? Did it all for the end of the day? Yeah. Girl. Yeah. You got cool fishes. I'm just kidding. And then she's like, yeah. Those are stars. I know. But you can't you to poke your eye out. No. Yeah, we heard this. Cool. That's your peach. Alright. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it away. Why weren't you doing this before? Okay. Wait, this doesn't fit. I thought this oh, was fit. I don't know if I lost her. I'm over. That's not gonna fit. How yeah, do you know that? I can tell by looking that it's huge. Hmm. <laughs> this one might fit. Hmm. Allie, I think that there's some under this paper here. Oh, oh no, you already took them all out. Okay. Mommy, and I found one. See? Okay. Try it on. Let's go. Let's go. Does that one work? Yeah. All right. Move one drop. Back, Chris. One single drop. It's it hard to get one single drop. Okay, that's good. No, no, Ash. Everywhere and down the well. All right. Next ones. Let's go. We got one last one. Try, try, try. Try, try, try. Try, try, try. Chick, 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 chick. I'm so sorry. You have to see. Boop. Life with a little brother, huh? Boop. Yes, and I hate it. Be nice. I'm just kidding. Are you ready? Let's go. Yes. How, where am I putting it? Oh, you got so many nails going on. I couldn't tell which one I actually was putting glue on. There's more to go. More to go. More to go. Look, Sissy, there's more to go. Can you put, wait, can you Need put a little, little bit more glue under here? Hold on, I don't think I got any. Can you move your head, Chris? Mm. There. Don't touch it, because I think I might have got a little too much out of it. No. No. Nobody, 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 no. Take it, Ash. Okay, so I just got Vanessa putting my nose. Give us a smile for the thumbnail. Show us our fingernails like this. Give me a real pretty one. There you go. All right, I can screenshot that for the thumbnail. Perfect. Okay. So we just did our thumbnail. Say bye. Like nails, like. One, two, three, nails. I love you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you like these nails because I know some people don't like these amount of nails, but I'm one of the people that do like the nails. So comment down below if you like them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and subscribe to our channel. And so, bye. Peace. So now we are just getting some laundry done real quick. David was mowing the grass and <clears throat> I don't like to have the kids outside when he's mowing. Um, I have a few family members that have worked in the emergency room and things like that and it's just, it is rather dangerous to have your children outside when you or the neighbors are mowing. We have lots of rocks and sticks and anyways, that's just one thing that I worry about. So the kids watch him out the window and then um, we have a sandbox in our backyard um, but it's just kind of like in the dirt we had it built up and anyways um, after David was done mowing he was tilling up the sandbox so that the kids could utilize that and play in the backyard we were having some issues with um, our neighbors very large dogs coming in our yard so we are trying extremely hard to keep the kids out of the front yard <clears throat> this summer we also live on a very it's not necessarily a busy road, but the cars drive extremely fast down our road. So it is much safer to have everybody in our fenced in backyard. So we're trying to make the backyard look nice. So here we're just getting another load of laundry folded. I was so proud of myself. I got so much laundry folded. I don't necessarily mind like washing the laundry and 
but for some reason, well, I really don't mind folding it too much, but I really need to go through all of our clothes again and downsize. We are running out of room. I tried to do the minimal mom thing and keep everything minimal and it just, if you don't keep up on that and like very regularly take inventory of what's in your home, it is super easy to get overwhelmed again and you know, it, it just gets out of control and everybody's growing so fast and so that is something that I definitely need to get on. But the kids did a great job. They were just relaxed and I think everybody was really tired after the park. Nobody took a great nap this day. So a slight miracle happened and Ashley took another nap today. This was like, I don't know, it was probably after five. And so there was part of me that was like, she's going to probably sleep like garbage. But this being a Saturday, I figured we would just keep them outside and we would just keep them up late. Anyways, I decided to do a very low impact, quiet workout video. I found one on YouTube that I really, really like. I will link that below because it's awesome. It definitely gets you sweaty, but it's not like... I didn't feel like it was hard. There's a few things in here that I simply didn't do because our floor, is, we live in an older house and our floor is creaky and I was not even chancing waking up this child. She generally only sleeps for about 20 minutes and here she actually slept for exactly 25 minutes and so my workout got cut short by five minutes but that was okay. I sat down and she had nursed a little bit and then actually went back to sleep before we went outside for her to check out the sand too. Um... But I just, I've hit a number on the scale that I don't like. And so I figured if I hold, if I show, share my journey on here, it's going to hold me accountable. Um, my husband and, well, I've had an Apple Watch for about three years. And then we just got my husband one this year. And so there is a competition um, option on there with them. And so that's been really fun. He and I have been competing for steps and um, points and things like that. And I am not a competitive person with most people, but I, for some reason, am very competitive with him. But it's been fun. Like, the stakes have been the loser has to make breakfast for the kids all weekend, the winner gets to take a nap, or the loser has to fold all the laundry, and, you know, the winner doesn't have to fold any. So it's just been, like, fun things like that. Um, we have done that. We do that sometimes with, like, sports games that he watches. I will just root against him, and then the winner, you know, we make fun little bets. Um against each other and that it's just that's fun if you are married with children you know how hard it is to come up with fun things to do with each other I guess what you know when you can't go out and do date nights and things like that that gets expensive so we do these goofy little challenges and you know if we accidentally get a little thinner and healthy in the process then it's a win-win but I highly recommend it um it's been a lot of fun I am very glad that we are doing this. I'm probably, I was definitely sore. Usually it's really close, but with him doing um, coaching softball and stuff, I have really had to try very hard to get as much exercise as him. And he burns way more calories than I do. I don't know what it is, but according to our watches, we could do the same exact thing, and he's going to burn twice the calories that I do. I don't know how this watch figures that out, but... It does, and so he gets a lot more points for the calories, so I have to work twice as hard to try to get the same amount of points. But like I said, I will link this lady below. It was just a YouTube video. It was free, obviously, and it was awesome. He got Chris back there like a bat waiting on his dad to finish tilling up the garden so he could, not the garden, tilling up the sandbox so he could go play outside. And shortly his dad's going to come in and get him so he can go play outside while I finish my workout and wait on Ashley to wake up. And then me and Ashley go outside with him and Allie and David. Get off the door. Head first. Head first. Run, sissy. Can you go do that? Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Hi, Al. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Yeah. Daddy, watch me. I'm going to go. That's why she likes it more whenever I do it. All right, Chris. Ready, set, go. Mom, you want to hold my peg? No. 
So it is Sunday morning and all of the fish, all, there was like 12 or 13 fish that we got yesterday. They all died. So we are going to go to David's grandma's pond and see if we can catch some minnows or some crawdads or something to maybe we get an occasional snail to put in this fish tank that Chris just spent all his birthday money on and then some and there's no fish left. So he took, he took it really well. He knows fish die. He's accidentally killed a few at the lake. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna go do that. <laughs> you gonna catch the minnows, Chris? Hold on, Ash. <laughs> go see what's in the bucket. Little creepy thing, creepy bug thing. What is that? See if this guy's still alive? Put him in there? Yep, yeah. Little shell. Hey, let's put it up to the table. Let's put it up to the table. Chris, put it up to the table. Well, you gotta keep the bucket down there so Dad can put more stuff in it. Put it down. Just put it down. Allie. Thank you. Because we don't want her carrying it around. Put it down. We want it to stay alive. That almost lost this view. <laughs> oh, I see it. Hold on, stay right here, Ash. She'll be right back with the bucket. She's putting other stuff in it. She's gonna put it down. There's Daddy's putting something with pinchers in it. They're pinching me. Well, we'll put it in this one. That way you guys can play with the minnow. Oh, Ash, turn around. I see. Where's she at? Oh, whoa, I feel so in hand. It did? Yeah. Oh, these tadpoles are going to die. Yep. Put it back in here. There's a baby one. Yeah. Oh, found a minnow. Nope, oh, stay back, Ash. Found a minnow? Put that in there. Put this in here. Where's the, the minnow? And there's like giant tick things. Yeah. I hate water bugs. What do you got, Ash? You catch anything, put it in my neck. Okay. Well, Dad took his shoes off. He's getting serious. Or you just don't want to lose his shoe. Yeah, oh, shit. Grab some, Al. <laughs> I see. Put it back in the bucket. Good job, Ash!
Hmm. Grab some tadpoles, Chris. There's so many. Yeah. There's I already so picked up like so small. Should we move the bucket closer to you? Oh, no, put the bucket down. No, we're not towing them. Bye bye. Put it down. Here. I'm moving closer. Come on, Ash. Show mommy. Oh, no. Mommy doesn't want it. Go put it back in the bucket. <laughs> Oh, she grabbed two. Put them back, Ash. Stay back, Ash. Good job, Ash. No, keep reeling. Got reeling in. Reel it back in. Good job. Yep, you got to reel it back in, Ash. No. Remember when that giant snapping turtle was in there, Chris? Yeah. Leave your shoes on. Why? Because. Oh, shit. We're going to have a fish tank with tadpoles right now. Yeah. Take the tadpole. Put it in the bucket. Put it in the bucket. Good job. Oh, she didn't tell us that fish. Good job, Ash. Hold on. Wait for Daddy to find another one. He'll tell you when he finds another one. Do you like tadpoles, Ash? Can you say tadpole? Uh, hmm. We gotta wait for him to find another one. Might be all done. We got a bucket full. Oh, oh back up, God. Ash. Come on. Oh, my back up, Ashy. We got another one? It's going to be raining pretty soon. Can you feel it? Yep. Hi, guys. So... All of our fish died that we got, uh, they died, except for one, which was the black one. We got a black one, and we got some crawdads, and we also got some minnows. One already has, watch out, Chris. Actually, just put a flower in there. One has already grown legs, which is really, really big. And so, and then we got this. For our fish tank, and our fish tank is so cool. Like you guys already know that, because you guys already saw. Um, the black one didn't die yet. One of them. Chris, put it down. And so we don't really want to pick up the one with legs that much, so that way it can live. And so, yeah, I don't know, but oh, and we brought this fishing pole because Chris wanted to bring it. I don't know why he wanted to bring it, but. Yeah, get the geese and then on what if my fingernails? What? No, we're not worried about your fingernails. Oh, wow. Get this. So. Look at the geese over there on the, the geese. All the way from the bucket there. There's the geese over there. Goose. Okay, bye. So today was a super great day. Ah. Now we're waiting for David to come get us, aren't we, guys? Yeah. Hi, yeah. Adam. Yes, we are. Teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> waiting for David to come rescue us. Yeah.
van died in the middle of a very busy intersection on our way home to my mom's. From picking up the boys, they spent the weekend with her. And so now we are in a parking lot at a store that was by the intersection. We're waiting on David. And we are praying that it is an easy and inexpensive fix because who likes car problems? David is a mechanic, but still, even him doing stuff himself, it gets expensive. So that sucks. Say bye. Bye. So all together, I would say we had a really good weekend. Adam and Cole spent the weekend with my mom and my nephew Calvin and my sister and we had a great weekend at home we had you know we went to the park and we did so we did lots of stuff we had a really good weekend didn't end quite like I had expected nobody anticipate you know once I mean we all anticipate that at some point something's gonna go wrong with our vehicles but um, David's gonna be bringing his some kind of machine tool thing I don't know home um to test and see he's pretty sure he knows what's wrong with the van but he's not 100 percent positive because of course on the drive home i followed him with the kids in his car and him well with most of the kids we don't all fit in his car um and then him and adam drove the van home and of course it did not do anything and so i had thought on saturday that um we had drove it around all day david drove it we went to the park we went to the store like we were all over the place and then we dropped David and Allie off at home, and then me and the small two went to McDonald's because they were asleep in the van, and David and Allie got the fish tank all hooked up, and anyways, when we were in line at McDonald's in the drive-thru, I thought that the van sounded weird, but then I was like, no, that's somebody else's car, because it was, it was packed, and I was like, no, that's, it's gotta be somebody else's car, and then on the way home, the van made a really weird noise, and I was like, no, there's no way that's the van. I'm hearing something else, like, I don't know. And so I never said anything to David. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have second-guessed myself so much. I mean, I drive that thing every single day, multiple places, every day of my life. No, no, Ash. Um, so I shouldn't have second-guessed myself the way that I was. But anyways, it didn't do anything for him, so he just has to test it and see. He's Like I said, he's pretty sure that he knows, but I'm kind of the worst explainer ever. I'm like, I just, I don't know. Anyway, um, hopefully it's something, if it's what it, you know, he thinks it's the alternator, he said. So that's not a super expensive fix, but then he said you also need to replace the battery as well. And so that's pretty pricey. So it could end up quite expensive. But... That is what it is. So, thank you for watching. As always, we greatly appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when we post another video. Thank you. Have a great day.